you notice I'm wearing a hat today. Now, if you're a follower of American baseball, you might think that this is a Cincinnati Reds hat. But it's not. I spent August in Japan, and I made sure I was in Hiroshima on August 6th. And I went to a ball game. If you ever have a chance to go to a ball game in Japan, the seventh inning is a bit different as are some other things. But uh, and this is the Hiroshima carp. So they're fish. They're, they're about the water, you know. But um, one of the things that I noticed in Japan, I'll just give you a brief rundown of what I saw. Everybody rides bicycles. I mean, everybody rides bicycles. That's one thing. A number two, and, and the transit system really works. It's busy, but people, the trains are on time. If the train's late by a minute, somebody apologizes. Can you believe that? And people wait on lines, and they don't cut, and it's very orderly. And and and, and the places, the, um, the little booths that have the concessions on the subway platforms are air-conditioned. Very nice. It all works smoothly. And they do recycling right. They separate it themselves before it's collected. You're not putting it in a blue can or other can downstairs. You're doing it yourself. And that, uh, that saves time. Well, if you really want to mess up the planet, yes? Okay. Stab yourself with a microphone. Any better? If you really want to mess, Ray gave you some keys as to, to how to do it before, but I'm going to give you the other side. This is something I'm surprised the former lawyer would overlook. If you really want to mess up the planet, you make it legal. <laughs> Every time you pick up a newspaper, every time that you watch your TV, if you bet your old boots, you are likely to see some grand politician from that old GOP calling on people just like you and me to stand up for law and for order. It's illegal to rip off a payroll. It's illegal to hold up a train. But it's legal to rip off a million or two that come from the hard work that work in folk. To steal from the many rich and a few. It's a thing that is perfectly legal. If you fashion a bomb, in your kitchen. You're guilty of breaking the law. But a bloody great nuclear plant is okay. As the plutonium process cases the day where this place where we're living gets blasted away. Nonetheless, it is perfectly legal. It is legal to crack all your neighbors and to poison their water and land. And you don't have to tell what you use to pollute. If your public relations seem truthful and cute, you can rake in the millions while wearing a suit. After all, it is perfectly legal. It's illegal to knock off your missus or put poison in your old man's tea. But poison the rivers, the seas, and the skies, and then poison the mind of a nation with lies when it's done in the interests of free enterprise. It is perfectly legal. sing on the telly, but make bloody sure that you don't. If you sing about racists and fascists and creeps and those in high places that live off the weak and those who are selling us right up the creek, the twisters, the takers, the con men and fakers, the whole bloody lot of exploiters. But it's legal to protest 
just your anger and vote out those fools you don't trust and it's legal to talk to your friends every day to organize people and show them the way and boycott those criminals and make them pay the big corporations and their friends in high stations the future is ours when we take it Thank you. Again, again, I'm Joe Landy, and uh, I have this show called S Songs of Freedom, singfreedom.org, and you can see songs like this. People who have been speaking here and, and have been singing here today are going to be on that, but there are other issues as well. I was told that this day is about recycling and renewal. Renewal. I've got a body of work to prove for that. I guess this could be Paul Ryan's health care plan, too. Have you got your harmonica with you? Okay. I'm playing in G, so that would be a C harmonica. It's, uh, she'll be coming around the mountain, you know that one. Who'll just join me in process? Oh, there's a part for you, okay? Whenever I say when I die, you say when I die. We're renewing body parts. I am selling off my body when I die. I am selling off my body when I die. And have my kidney later. And my liver and all later. Cause for me it doesn't matter when I die. You can't bid for it on eBay when I die. Or I can sell it to you now and you can buy any part that you desire. At the moment I expire, we'll have new inside a tire when I die. Have vision for the things that you can buy. Can you see yourself with a pair of good eyes? You can get yourself a new one. Have a brown one and a blue one. And I'll throw enough to neurons when I die. Wanna play one? Go! I'm Joel Andy, and once again, here's Tom. Singfreedom.org. 